what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash we're gonna be doing a quick shower routine here i'm using my dr bronner's eucalyptus soap this is what i call my base clean if you are new guys i'm getting ready you guys are going with me today's gonna be a great day and i'm just showing you guys what the heck i'm using in the shower today and i'm super excited to be showing you some of the products today because i was sent some amazing products from unoya glow and it is a brand that i'm absolutely in love with and i had to share it with you guys before i even get to that i'm gonna be showing you guys the soap that i'm using right now after i do my dr bronner's i usually get into a nice scented soap that's just gonna make the shower okay i love me a scented soap and this soap right here if i can't tell you enough like i went through a couple right here i'm like do i want to use this do i want to use that but i decided to use this one and this is the pumpkin pecan pecan whatever you want to call it waffles from bath and body works obsessed please and i did hear miss tina marie talk about that you know this shower gel is about to be sold out so what did i do i took my little self to bath and body works the body scrub i'm using today is the unoya glow birthday cake foaming body scrub i love it because it literally looks like a cake it has sprinkles and rainbows on top it almost looks like something you'd want to eat unoya glow is a black woman owned business they are vegan and cruelty free and you guys are going to love it and look at this oh my gosh it literally looks like a birthday cake that i took out and i'm gonna use on my body it smelled so good and it really felt good on my skin i love this before shaving because it wasn't a harsh exfoliant it really just gave my skin a really nice smooth feel and really helped prep for the shaving process okay and today i'm only shaving my underarms because i was like you know what? i need to get that done because i was gonna have a great day and you're gonna see i'm taking you guys with me for this vlog i'm using this body scrub all over and i'm going to link unoya glow down below everything is going to be there for you guys so that you can check out their website it is amazing and i have a few more products to show you in my body care and shower routine of course so let me get into this okay exfoliating if you haven't been exfoliating i recommend that you do i do this about three to four times a week um sometimes i use a a foaming body scrub like this one or a dove body polish it really just depends on the day and speaking of dove i'm going to be using my shower oil if you know me you know i love shower oils um, i'm using that just to put on my skin because i'm getting ready to shave so i'm using this kind of as my shave oil um, usually i use my shower oils all over my body which most of the time i do but today i use it more so as like my shave oil and it works really well for that as always i'm using my cerave salicylic acid cleanser which which works amazing for my skin i used to have acne you guys if you didn't know i've had i have a few skincare routines on my channel so if you haven't seen those you can check it out my skin used to be really bad and now i think my skin is doing pretty well and i don't use many things and i think that's really one of the things that help with that now let's move on to my body care routine. Because I shaved, I'm gonna be using the Unoya Glow Bye Bye Razor Bump Heal and Repair Serum. This really, really helps. Honestly, after this, I forgot to put on deodorant and I was actually smelling good all day, which is so weird. But I actually use this on my underarms just to prevent any razor bumps. And if you guys wanna see a video about how to lighten your armpits, cause I've been working on that, I will get that up for you guys. But I use this all over and it's so awesome. So definitely check that out on her website as well. I think applying a razor bump serum is super important after you shave especially because when you're shaving you're literally irritating the skin and i'm gonna be using her body butter okay the unoya glow body butter is amazing and it actually shocked me because it smells so much like birthday cake and it's such an oil-based body butter like it gave my skin such a shine afterwards i was looking like oh my goodness and all day i swear to you all day my skin was hydrated and moisturized i didn't even need to apply you guys know i usually put on a body oil or i'll put on you know my body oil then my body butter or whatever this was two in one look at that it's literally like i'm oiled up and moisturized at the same exact time and it really just did what i needed it to do like it gave what it was supposed to give okay so that was my body lotion for today and i'm oh i can't wait to show you guys what fragrance mist i paired this with but i just have to show you again like like, look at the glow. Fragrance mist of the day is Confetti Cake Pop from Bath & Body Works. This is a gem, and it paired so nicely with my birthday cake body butter. This is my scent of the day. Let me know yours down below, and I'll see you in the next clip. It's haul time. I have a few things that I want to show you guys that I've picked up throughout the week. 
This is the Shimmer Body Oil from Anastasia Bomb. I picked up the Tease Cream Cloud and the regular Tease Body Butter. It was in a bundle. I'm mad at myself that I didn't pick up the Tease Cloud Cream Cloud one in the Body Butter, but they both smell so good. I'm so excited. I haven't been liking Victoria's Secret lotions, but this Body Butter is great okay so if you see this pick it up and i do approve of this cream cloud fragrance it is very pretty i love creamy fragrances so this was a must for me i picked up the carolina herrera good girl very good girl okay this is the red bougie pretty heel okay this is the long heel red heel okay because the bottom range is red okay baby but <laughs> anyways i love that i have my fragrance from the old factory nyc you guys should check it out i have a code you can check that out on my instagram story i have it linked everything is there i picked up the signorina fragrance okay signorina i need to know how to pronounce this really well because i don't know but this is bomb and i also got my hands on an mfk fragrance this is the amorous femme bougie bougie vibes all 2021 bye <laughs> and i also picked up the body shop black musk this is the vegan eau de toilette and the kkw body number two and here's a quick little bath and body works haul i got the open sky been wanting this because i was hoping it would smell like a super fresh beautiful scent and it is it's very light i feel like you can wear this as an everyday fragrance so i made sure to pick it up and this one is i think this is my favorite the sunrise woods it's giving okay i like this one i got it in the big body lotion even after having it in that little mini body cream because usually the little body cream would have sufficed you know but no like i really like this one this is it and i got it in the body scrub the creamy body scrub i just had to get it um and this body butter right here you guys can get this it's from the my goodness butter company they sent this to me it smells so good it's an authentic lemongrass scent and i got the Jo malone candle in essie i love Jo malone so yeah <laughs> you guys time literally slipped me i was in my little group chat texting and i wasn't even paying attention um it's 2 35 and i need to be at my nail appointment by 2 40. i don't play about being late to my nail appointment because um this is someone's time that i am you know in you know i don't want to waste somebody's time and i don't want to be late so i had to rush out of the house so fast i'm gonna see if i can get my eyebrows done after this and then i'm gonna take you guys with me to my Miami, okay i'm gonna go to miami if you don't know i live in south florida miami is like 40 minutes from me i really want to get the kali perfumes okay they only have them available online but i believe this store i called them earlier they said they have them in store so your girl's about to go to kali well sephora and give me some kali perfumes the vanilla but the way i start these videos is i'm always telling you what i'm gonna get and then i would be disappointed if i don't get it and then i won't post the video <laughs> but i'm gonna hope and get it i'm gonna call them and see if they have it i'm gonna call right now and ask um and i guess you guys could listen let's just double check again maybe someone else went into the phone thank you for calling sephora and baby we only press three okay <laughs> i need to hurry up it's 2 36 i'm very close to my nail appointment though hello thanks for calling sephora and aventura mall Hi, I'm calling to find out if you guys have the K. Ali perfumes. Which perfume? The K. Ali. K. Ali. Uh, let me double check. Please, Hold thank on one you. Second, okay. Yeah. You see? This is why I double check because I want to make sure they have it before I drive all the way over there. I could just order online, but I just want it now. That's my personality. Like I'm like now. Ow, I hurt my finger. <laughs> Damn, this light is long. I don't know why they don't put better music for these things. I don't get copyright for this. I didn't even get to put on any chapstick, nothing. Okay, the light changed. They must can't find it. Hello? Hi. I have the Kayali Vanilla. Um, but that's the only one I have in store right now. Okay, and do you have a lot, or if I get there, you'll have enough? Like, uh, do you want me to put this on hold for you? Can you please? Yeah, I can put it on hold for you. Thank you so much. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, okay, it will be on hold for you. Awesome, so thank you. you. Oh, oh, yes, great, thank you. Period! Oh! <laughs> uh, 
got your girls getting the Cali perfume. I don't gotta order it. Just pick it up, pick it up, get it. I don't gotta order it. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, they're holding it. The other lady, they're holding for me. Never take the first no, baby. Go find your yes. That's what I'm gonna tell you. That's the quote of the day. Do not take the first no. Go find a yes. Because there's somebody who will tell you, yes, baby, can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. But yes, now I can go to my nail appointment and be happy. She said she's going to hold it for me for the rest of the night. So your girl's going to zoom, zoom, zoom all the way to Aventura. And then um, I'm going to take you guys with me. We're just going to do a little quick vlog and whatever. So uh, here's a before of my crusty, dusty nails. This one came off. I was traveling and it came off. Whatever. Um, and I'm getting something super simple, classy. We're going to go for classy elegance. Okay, so oh, I have one minute, oh, but I'm gonna get there. Ooh, all right, the camera's dropping. Bye. All right, you guys, I'll probably show you guys a better look when I get like in better lighting, but this is the finished product. My nails are so cute and classy. Um, I love it. Let me close the door. I was in there for like what it was, my appointment was for 2 40, and it's 4 30. <laughs> My nails always take a long time like that's just what happens because you know you got to take off the older nails and like this was kind of a fill But you guys saw like the other this nail wasn't on prior like oh my gosh, these are so cute I wanted super classy simple Elegant, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to Miami my eyes itching <sighs> Let's get this drive in and I'm excited because we're gonna get that perfume I just pulled up to the mall. I just parked my car. Gotta put on my mask. And of course, as you guys know, I always film on my phone. So I'm gonna just take you guys in the store with me. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna grab some water. I don't know if I told you guys I'm fasting. So I can't eat until tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll vlog about that on my um, vlog channel. But I think I, you know, anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there first to pick up my perfume. Woo! And then um, I'll probably go to Zara and stuff like that. But you, I don't know if you guys care about that. But I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Maybe we'll go into BBW, you know, a little Bath and Body Works action. Um, and let's just go. All right, cool. I did not even know they had a whole Morphe store in here. This mall is literally the prettiest mall. I can legit come in here and just shop all day. There's literally so much to do. Oh, wow, Sephora. I was actually lost before I even turned on the camera, so... Let's see. Firstly, Sephora is mad loud, so I decided to just do a voiceover. I wanted to look at all the Tom Ford. Like, look at this, you guys. I go in here and I just look at Tom Ford. I have the Soleil Blanc already, but I like to look at fragrances that I already have, even though, like, I, again, I already have them. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I love to do. But I don't have this, the Soleil Niche Body Oil. Looking forward to getting that. I do like Tom Ford, but I do believe that it is something that you have to, like, have an acquired taste for, if that makes sense, for fragrance. I don't know. They're all different but this nest body oil in vanilla a must okay if you didn't hear it from me um you heard it from me <laughs> but i started looking at a whole bunch of stuff the vanilla woods is super popular right now but you know i came in here for the kaoli fragrances and someone was nice enough to come over and help me because i was looking around but i was getting distracted but this wonderful lady helped me and you'll hear that right now Hello, are you I'm actually looking for the Kaoli fragrances. Oh, we have Oh, yeah. Oh, those. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah. Jackpot. We found her. This is the Deja Vu White Flower, but I came for the Vanilla 28, the one that I'm picking up right now. You guys. This is it right here. This perfume is perfect for layering. It is amazing. They only had one left. One left, but they had one behind the counter for me. So whoever got that one is blessed. I really want to get me a Fenty, y'all. These little 
these sets are so cute. Look at that. How cute is that? Y'all, I'm out of the store that took like an hour. But I finally got my Kayali. But now, you guys, we're gonna go probably in the BBW or the Zara. I gotta get out of here because I'm getting hungry because I'm seeing a whole bunch of food and that's making me want to eat. So we don't want that. So I actually just fell in love with the other one, the Deja Vu one. And now I'm mad because I really want that one and they didn't have that one in stock. She said that was like a limited edition one or something. So I'm gonna try to order that online and see if I like it. See the mall behind me. But I am so, so, so freaking excited about this Kaali perfume. And I'm so glad I didn't have to order it because I'm just that way and I like to smell things, then buy it. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who like fragrance feel the same way. So let me go ahead and um, find BBW and I'll see you guys in a minute. So I see Chanel over there and Chanel has body oils. So I'm gonna see if they have them. Body oils? Yeah. No way! The body oils? Oh, I remember my body oils sold out. Oh my gosh! Wow! You know it's funny because I saw this when it came out, but I was like, I don't know. That's the number five fragrance for the, the body products. Wow. Because I have this perfume, but I don't... So the oil is for this one. Correct. This yeah. is a bar soap for the yeah. bathroom? Wow. <laughs> Say, wow, I'm shocked. Like, let's talk about how they treated me at Chanel. Just fabulous. I want to go into Bond Number Nine, New York. Good. How are you? If you know me, I love Bond Number Nine fragrances, and the store was mad loud again. So I'm doing a voiceover, but again, they were playing some good reggae. They showed me some amazing fragrances. I came in here for a body cream. If you haven't started using a body cream along with your fragrance, baby, get on it. I promise you, it'll make your fragrance last so much longer. Again, a body cream from here is expensive. I will be the first one to tell you when something is pricey. So I actually didn't even get it because I think I can get it cheaper somewhere else. But yeah, that was pretty much it. But I love this store. It's one of the only stores in my area. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So the body cream was like $100, 140 130 something like that. Very expensive. Um, yeah, I'm about to end up going into Nordstrom. Guys are always trying to talk to me in the mall. Like, you would think it's flattering. No, it's literally, um, it, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyways, <sighs> I swear the body cream wasn't that expensive in Bloomingdale's or not Nordstrom. I, I don't need to go to Nordstrom. I need to end up going to, what is that place called again? Saks Fifth Ave, but I don't know if they have one here. If not, it's okay. But oh, I can't wait to be able to eat food again. There's so much food. Uh, too much i went to the nordstrom anniversary sale just to check it out the perfumes were really good but a lot of the perfumes that i wanted weren't really on sale i did see the kiehl's body lotion as i'm showing you here i do like kiehl's if you don't use kiehl's what are you doing because kiehl's is amazing they had these huge refills which i thought were great so that was really it guys i can't really film that much because my phone's about to die and i have no charger so I'm gonna film inside of Bath and Body Works, kinda show you guys a quick little run through, whatever I can, and then I'm gonna be on my way home, and then I'll show you guys my stuff. Firstly, I apologize, my camera was mad greasy, I'm so mad, but <laughs> nonetheless. Um, these are the new scents that Bath and Body Works came out with for the fall. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for my fall haul, but I'm gonna be so straight up, I don't like the pink berry clouds much. It's just not doing anything for me. I love Sunrise Woods, and I'll talk about it a little bit more in the next clips. I just went around looked at some of the new candles, and the gingham bar soap, okay, like, eh? this is new so i want this but other than that everything was pretty much the same i wasn't really super impressed with the store i do need to make an online order but i don't even know yet i'll be real with you i don't know if i want to buy it <laughs> but that was pretty much it and i'm gonna see you guys at home okay hey you guys i am home now and i told you guys i'm gonna show you guys what i got 
So you guys saw throughout the whole video I was shopping, blah, blah, blah. Bath and Body Works was the last little clip. So I guess I'll show you guys what I got from BBW. But I do have a few things that I really want to show you super quick. So you guys want to know how I feel about this fall collection. I do want to pick up the Blueberry Pancakes Body Spray. That is something that I want. And I do want to try the Wicked Vanilla Woods or whatever it's called. But I just, just I'm, I'm not a person who loves to order online. I just don't. And I, I hate when they do that, those like online exclusives. But... It is what it is. I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna complain about it. And I guess I'm gonna put it in an order because I do want it. And the pumpkin cupcake too, that's also a thing. But I love the pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, this one smells really good in the shower gel. And that's what I told you guys I was showering with in the beginning of the video. I picked up two more of the shower gels because I heard that they're gonna be, you know, discontinued or whatever. Um, it's maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar. It is so fire in the shower gel in the body care i was a little iffy only because i was like hmm, do i want to smell like that but after coming out the shower at night and using the shower gel i have no issue pairing it with the body lotion right here so i picked up the entire collection i'll show you guys close up just in case you've never seen the packaging this is her right here and i love it i like it for a night time definitely wouldn't wear it during the day that's just not my forte thing you guys i picked up the happy halloween somebody if you know it please let me know the notes for happy halloween because i can't find them and i want to know um you know i don't usually pick up halloween stuff that's just not my vibe but it smells so good i don't know what it is so if you can tell me please let me know i picked up the little happy halloween body lotion it smells amazing and if you get a chance to go in store pick it up that's a bath and body works haul i do have open sky i showed you guys earlier in that little quick haul and sunrise woods but i did pick up more of that i went to sephora as you guys saw i was in there for mad long and i got my cali fragrance and this is the box i am absolutely obsessed you've got to see it camera focus this is the cali unboxing right here gorgeous 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 cap okay <laughs> the bottle is kind of stuck in there dang it nothing satisfying here i guess out the box it is gorgeous that's one thing i have to say about the fragrance it is just very very pretty the presentation is luxury it's bougie it's beautiful and the way it sprays onto the skin is very like look at that it's luscious it's gorgeous it just sprays effortlessly onto the body. It's not like a pss, pss, pss type of spray. You've got to get your hands on this. I really think, in my opinion, it reminds me kind of, I wouldn't say exactly, but when I think of Vanilla Lace from Victoria's Secret, this is like the bougier upscale. It's beautiful. And I what I love about this Cali fragrance, it can go well with a lot of other fragrances this is a fragrance that is perfect for layering so if you are looking for a nice vanilla that can go with pretty much everything get your hands on this i put in an order because the video was filmed a couple days ago i did put in an order for the deja vu white flower which i fell in love with when i went to the store so this is it you guys i love it i love this fragrance so very much and i'm glad i was able to just pick it up and get it i even have it's crazy i have on today and let me know your sense of the day in the comments down below i have on my carolina herrera good girl which is this one is the very good girl i should say and i'm paired it with the regular good girl body cream it goes super well i i totally recommend you guys use a body cream with your fragrance but i have a video on that coming soon and for my body oil i'm using my molten brown this is not the one i have two if you ever get a molten brown body oil you should i'm using my molten brown body oil baby i'm telling really good like i'm just telling you straight up um so but what my point was to tell you i have this on and i use my kaoli and it still smells good like just because like oh my gosh it just adds such depth to the fragrance and i i have to say if you don't have a kaoli fragrance you need to get it like i was like oh this is gonna be so hype and honestly in the store i wasn't getting the hype because i had maybe smelled too many fragrances in the deja vu white flower i was like that one should be more talked about but this is it like this is going to be one of my staple vanilla fragrances in my collection hands down so now that i showed you what i made this video for which was that fragrance i got caught up i got caught up and y'all saw me go into chanel i literally got caught up um and if you're not following me 
on Instagram, I need you to follow me right now at ash220 underscore because you would have seen that I went to Chanel and what's in this little bag? So I went in there for the body oil and I didn't get it because they're sold out company wide. When I tell you guys about things, I try to put you on game so that you don't end up like me last minute not knowing about something and now you cannot get it because it's just nowhere to be found. But I picked up, this is one of my like, I gotta be grateful in life purchases. Like I'm grateful to be in the position that I'm in in life to be able to have purchased something like this. This is the Chanel number no. five and let me tell you, this is the, ooh, Les Savant and it's the soap, okay? This is a bar soap. I'm obsessed. Like, oh, first off, look at the casing that it comes in. Number five, Chanel Paris. And it looks like this, looks like that, all like that. And let's see if I can even open it because I know myself and I struggle. Okay, I finally got it open. So let me show you up close. One thing about this soap, it is so fragrant. This was described to me as a soap that'll make your entire bathroom smell good it's not even close by my face like I, it looks like i'm close by it but i'm really not and i can smell the soap it's still in its plastic wrapping how cute is this chanel wrapping around it and it smells so good you guys i don't even want to use it it's that good like this was 45 dollars <laughs> But I just had to have it. I'm like, imagine using this, right, in the shower. You know, whatever it is. You're going to use your soap, bar soap. And they do have a shower gel. I should have picked that up too. But this is it. And imagine just being able to have these in your bathroom as like a hand soap. So I'm going to have my Chanel bar soap. And then I would probably go in with not this. Oh, yeah, I have it right here. One of these. If I can go in with my number five right here. Oh, my goodness. This is just it. So yes, this was one of my bougie purchases. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Like, I'm so excited. I just don't want to use it because I'm like, dang. Like, the thing about bar soap is, it's like a difference with a fragrance that'll last you a long time. Bar soaps are not really meant to last you forever. But it is what it is. Oh, I forgot to finish my Sephora haul. I went all the way to Chanel. I got the new Gucci Flora. This is the gorgeous Gardenia. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really gravitate towards... Um, gardenia scents much I just sometimes think they're a little overpowering but I do have a, a couple of gardenia in my um, collection and I do have a gardenia shower routine if you guys haven't seen that but this is a quick unboxing of the brand new Gucci perfume which I think this is a perfect size for me because I'm not going to be spraying a whole lot so this is it right here it's still expensive for this little one it was like 80 bucks but Honestly, this is perfect for me. I'm going to spray it on my wrist so that I can see. The sprayer is nice. Off the bat, you know, it's straight alcohol. Gotta wait. But this is it. Gucci Flora. This is the gorgeous gardenia. And it has white gardenia and jasmine. And also pear blossom. It also, it smells very good. It's not an overwhelming gardenia at all. Mm, I love it. And I think with this, you start to get different notes. The longer you wear it so we love her so i did purchase that and i do like it if you want to get it i think that you should but is it like my, blowing me all the way back to the moon like no but if you're a fragrance collector like me this is definitely nice to have you know okay and the last thing i did mention to you guys in the video that you should pick up this madagascar vanilla nest body oil the body oil is very expensive it is 90 dollars i won't even i'm not willing to spend the 90 dollars right now because i feel like it wasn't all that but i was happy to pick it up in this little travel size version which i think is going to be good for me because i'll just put this in my pulse points Ooh, i might just pair it with my kaoli fragrance and just have like a nice oil and a perfume you know so this is it the nest madagascar vanilla right here here we are here she is she's cute and you would open it like this and you just like put it on rub her on there i think you guys can even see that but it smells super nice i like it so i do recommend you guys get this um especially if you're not trying to pay a lot of money for the big body oil that's a sephora haul that's a bath and body works haul and i did stop at zara sorry guys i got distracted but i did go to zara and i got this beautiful beautiful top this is just so pretty this is giving rich auntie okay this is giving i have hella money black girl luxury just beautiful okay so i'm excited about this 
my little top from Zara. Zara is super expensive. It's like $49. $49.40. That's crazy. But that's it for this video. I'm going to be so mad if I forgot to show you guys something. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. You guys are so amazing it really does mean so much to me when you guys comment and i try to like and respond to almost every comment like as much as i can like you know social media is great but i do try to take breaks here and there but i love you guys you are amazing thank you for watching thank you for sticking with me um and thank you for 44,000 subscribers we're on the road to 50k hopefully 100k soon let me know what else you guys want to see from me um i also left something up on my community tab make sure you check that out it is my fragrance layering video i'm going to be making that soon so if you have any good layering combos and you want to share with us you know go ahead and comment over there and also follow me on instagram so you can send me a dm of your hygiene collections or your perfume collections your body care collections whatever it is fragrance body care wise i want to see it i'm making a video about that so let me know i can't wait to see you guys and i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye guys